For reusable elements, you're going to want to learn how to create symbols. Now, creating symbols actually maintains a really neat design environment as well. So it's certainly one of those things that you're going to want to learn how to do early on rather than learning it a little bit later. So let me show you how to harness the power of symbols. So coming back into our working file, here you'll see three screens from my UI kit and as you can see there's some buttons missing and that button is prime for us using a symbol. So I'm just going to grab one of the elements from my UI kit which is a rectangle with some text overlaid and then I'm going to make a symbol out of those two elements. And then I can drag that into my project and create another button change the text on this, sign up, log in, and then use that across the project. Now, if you wanted to experiment with color or you simply wanted to change that symbol across your whole document, that's really easy too. You just double click into the symbol itself and you can go into the background fill and change elements and it will change across the entire document. So I'm sure you can see why that would be really handy when you're working in a large design file to just be able to update everything all at once.